Well, look, I mean, the state of Illinois is suffering right now because we don't have a United States senator. And as time goes by, and you heard Carl talking just a minute ago about all of the process that is still ahead of us. This is a governor that's not yet been indicted. Impeachment charges haven't been filed. There hasn't been an investigation. Subpoenas haven't been, um, haven't been issued. Meanwhile, the state of Illinois suffers and the people suffer because they don't have a voice in the United States Senate. The, mm -hmm. the Democrats in Illinois, in this one-party state, essentially have a political Frankenstein on their hand in Governor Blagojevich. They've created him, they've nurtured him along, and now he's showing he's not willing to step aside. And in light of that, they have one choice, and that is to impeach and remove him, and in the interim, move ahead with a uh, special election. Okay, who that is why this decision is so dangerous. It will result in legislators being even more responsive to corporations rather than voters. Now, the underlying rationale for the court's decision, that corporations must have First Amendment rights in the political process equal to those of citizens, makes no sense. Corporations can't vote or run for office. They don't have feelings or thoughts. They don't speak or make decisions except through individuals, their corporate officers, their board of directors, and their lobbyists. What they do have is the ability to make huge amounts of money thanks in part to laws passed by the people's representatives. So the court's ruling has in effect produced a Frankenstein. The people created corporations, but the court has denied the people the power to prevent corporations from dominating the entire political system. Now it's Mike Papantonio, host of the nationally syndicated Ring of Fire radio show. Mike, good to have you with us tonight. What do you make of all of this? Is good she dear. part of well, the discussion? Should she be in the Ring of Fire? They have to have her out of the picture right now. The truth is the neocons have to do everything they can to save Sarah Palin. Palin was like a political Frankenstein created by a handful of billionaire inheritance babies who had who misjudged her. They thought certain things that just aren't true. They thought women would love Sarah Palin. They needed to create a Sarah Palin to, to be like a Hillary Clinton or Margaret Thatcher, only without polish and without worldliness and sophistication. But the truth is billionaire babies completely were wrong about that.